Jerry. Thanks for jumping in when I didn't know what to say during prayers now. Oh, don't mention it. Praise God. Praise God? But I was praising you. Thanks, but I also wanted to give glory to God for the prayer. Okay, but you were the one saying the prayer, right? Yes, but I couldn't have done it without God. I don't really get it. Don't get what? I don't get why people use praise God and glory to God for things they do. So I say, why share the glory for what I did myself? Why tell the story to credit someone else? Why share the glory and keep my head bowed? I just want the world to know what I did and be proud. Have you ever wondered why people praise God and give glory to Him for things they worked hard on? I wonder why that is. Well, let's try and think about it while drawing something. Isn't that neat? Now let's see if Joy and Jerry have managed to crack this glorious mystery. I remember when I let Mum see my results last year. She immediately said praise God. Sounds like her. And she even asked me to give glory to God for the results I received. Don't you think you should? Why though? Didn't I just work hard and did well? God helped though, I think. Guess what? For the exam I prayed really hard about, I didn't really do well in it. But for the exam that I didn't really pray about, I did really well in it. Huh, that's ironic. So should we even praise God? What we do is on us, right? Hello children and families who are tuning in. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Father Luke Fong and uh, I'm currently an assistant priest in the parish of Immaculate Heart of Mary in Highland Road. Today I'm just doing my small part in trying to give you a way to understand what is the glory of God and how you can use your lives and your relationships with people the way you communicate uh, to give God the glory that He alone deserves. When it comes to talking about the glory of God, a very relevant question is, what is glory? Glory is high renown or honour, won by notable achievements. Almost a way that an Olympic medalist has high renown or honour, won by the fact that he won the gold medal or a silver medal. Connected to this is fame, prestige, distinction and eminence. Glory is also magnificence or great beauty. Connected to this are splendour, grandeur, or majesty. The biblical definition of glory has the simple meaning of heaviness or weight, expressing the ideas of importance, greatness, honour, splendour and power. The Greek word doxa is one which is difficult for translators of the New Testament to handle. When used for God, it makes God so dazzling, and man sees this as brightness. 
I suppose um, an example that I could give that you can experience in life is on a cloudy day when the direct sight of the sun is hidden by clouds and you look up, sometimes you will see with the sun behind the clouds that the edge of the cloud has got very bright lines and that is the glory that's that could be described as the glory of God that is bright and around him. When the glory of God is focused on the dazzling light, the word shine is used in the same sentence. In Luke chapter 2 verse 9, the glory of God shone around the shepherds in the field. And you may have heard that being used in the Gospels of Christmas. In Revelations 21 verse 11, the glory of God shone in the city of God in John's vision. And in Hebrews 1 verse 3, Jesus is said to shine with the brightness of God's glory. In other parts of Scripture, glory implies great power and strength. After telling how Jesus turned the water into wine, John says, Jesus performed this first of his mighty works in Cana of Galilee, where he revealed his glory. Glory also has a sense of power. And this example is in Romans chapter 6, verse 4, where it is said, Christ was raised from death by the glory of the Father. So what does it require for us to live for God's glory? That's a very relevant question. All that we can do is only possible because of God's glory, whatever it is in our lives. We need to live in such a way that through our lives, we help people to know God's love through us, showing them how glorious our God truly is. It takes humility to live this way. It's okay if our name is bypassed and God takes the glory in and by our lives. To live this way, we need to develop a heart that truly believes that it is okay to do things with love and charity. It starts with the way we communicate, the way we relate with our friends and family members. Sometimes it is challenging to say things in a way that conveys that we want the best for others in life. The more we rise to the challenge of communicating this way in life, the more we are striving to live with humility in our hearts. The more we do this with the people that we can see and hear, the more we will be able to do things in ways that give God the glory that he deserves when we communicate with people who we may not know or relate with. Because ultimately we have to believe that God makes all things possible. And if we want to give God the glory in our hearts, that's that first important step that starts with giving God the glory. That it, my life is not about me. While you're talking just now, I thought of John the Baptist. Oh, the guy in this Sunday's Gospel? What about him? He is always reminding people that Jesus is far greater than him. Why is he sharing credit with Jesus? Maybe it's because Jesus gave him a purpose to do the things he did. Okay. Mm, look at the saints. They never point to themselves for anything good because they know who is the source of all goodness. So I need to appreciate that he is the source of all goodness and also the reason of my life? Yep. So even if you didn't pray for this exam, he's still the reason you did well at all. I should glorify him because I couldn't have done it without him. That's right. Okay, 
I kind of get it. But I still need more time to think about it, though. That's alright. Praise God that you're thinking about it. <laughs> Praise God for a brother like you. Okay, stop. We... We good. <laughs> so to God be the glory for all the things I do. His love is something you or me could never outdo. Glory to God, He's the source of all that's good. It's through His grace I've been able to do all I could. That's right! Although it's easy to think we do great things all on our own, it's always important to remember that God is the source of all the goodness that we do and to give glory to Him instead of ourselves because He makes all of it possible. Hope you enjoyed that adventure. See you next week! 